Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky this month, but more importantly, we have this right mix of tension and motivation and great opportunity. In fact, this month will feature one of the most luckiest days of the year. So let's take it from the very beginning. It is going to be early in the month, right around the fourth or fifth of the month, depending on where you are on the planet, that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with the workplace, the type of work you're doing, the people who surround you there. It also has to do with your daily habits and daily rituals and what it is that you do to affirm the best of care of you. Now this new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. I love that energy. It says that there's a sense of expansion and opportunity and positive changes all around, new beginnings that make you feel as if there's even more potential on the horizon. However, this new moon will also be speaking in conversations of tension with Saturn and with Pluto. Now, both of these planets, Saturn and Pluto, have an, a connotation, an understanding of their energies having to do with responsibility and determination, but also limitation as well. And it has to do with sacrifice, and sometimes those sacrifices involve a sense of understanding what's working and what's not working. It is going to be right around this new moon that you are having to make some tough choices, some tough decisions. Now, part of that may involve actually dedicating yourself more deeply and being willing to sacrifice for some hoped for outcome. But part of that may be that you are coming to realize what isn't working and where it is that you want to refine your pathway forward. It's not going to be an easy decision either way. But the great thing is, is that you are motivated to create change in your life, to transform your circumstances for the better. And thanks to Jupiter, you have the faith that your effort is going to pay off. And it certainly will. Because as we get right to the middle of the month, right around the 14th is when we are going to have one of the most fortunate days of the year. And that is because the sun will be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. This is the type of energy that a lot of astrologers like to look forward to. We are very enthusiastic when we see this because it tends to represent a time when it's just that much easier to create a positive set of circumstances for yourself. There's that sense of confidence and faith, but also a magnification of the, the good, expansive possibilities that Jupiter does promise. And so the sun is going to move through and be in the same part of the sky that this month's new moon was in earlier. And as I look at this, I feel like what may feel like a tough decision, what may feel like a struggle, what may actually lead you to ask yourself some very important questions will ultimately be the very thing that opens up even more opportunity and leads you to truly feeling like life is very much on your side. It is the work that you put in in the early part of the month that will find its payoff very quickly, or at the very least, you'll get that first little boost from the universe to let you know that you are on the right path and that this is the direction you're meant to go. You know, I'm reminded of a very, very famous book called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Uh, and in this book, which was, you know, it just sort of swept the world back in the 90s, but is still one of these uh, books that a lot of people love very much. Uh, there are a lot of things you can take away from this book. It holds a lot of spiritual wisdom. But one of the things uh, that I remember from this book was that it's basically a, a story of a person who's on the pathway towards fulfilling his dream. And there comes a point when, as he embarks on the path, he gets this sort of early reward, an instant reward. And then things start getting more challenging. And that's because the pathway towards your dreams and what you really want to do and, and what you feel inspired towards 
is never really about the thing. It's never really about the thing that you achieve. It's about who you become in the process. And you can't become a person of self-assurance and self-respect and self-confidence and all of those higher virtues we hold with people who actually are able to fulfill their dreams. Well, you can't become any of those things without some challenge, uh, without some sense of needing, needing to navigate what otherwise would be challenging. And so what the universe likes to do is when you first embark on a path, you get this instant affirmation. In some way, the universe wants you to know that this is the journey for you. And then things can start getting a little bit challenging. And so I feel like with the sky this month, it may feel as if you are embarking on a new path or on a new journey. And a part of what brings you to that new path may be an uncomfortable moment. It may be especially an uncomfortable conversation or communication but it will ultimately be that sense of you embarking on the new and the next that will provide you with that early reward that is gonna find you by the time we get to the middle of the month. This could be a new work-related opportunity, whether it's uh, the tasks that you do, uh, whether it is the role that you're playing or the environment that you're in. It could be a health-related opportunity something you feel inspired to change in terms of your habits and something that you're uh, inspired to embark on to do consistently that you hope will pay off in a sense of greater strength and greater longevity. Now that could be physical strength, but it could also be spiritual strength as well because sometimes when we talk about habits, we forget the other layer of it, which is habits and rituals tend to go very much together. And rituals ultimately add a sense of stability throughout our day but they also add the sacred in our day as well and they can be just as important as part of creating meaningful change or affirming a healthy stance for us all around early in the month difficult questions a little bit of a challenge a sense of determination will give way to some early boost if you will that lets you know that you are on the right path with the changes that you begin to make. Now the energy does change up as we move a little bit later. Continuing along these themes, we are gonna have, once we get right around the 20th, the 21st, that is when Mercury will leave shadow and move into the same part of the sky. It's actually happening a little bit earlier. There's a full moon on the 19th, just before the full moon, Mercury moves into the part of the sky of the new moon of the sun. And it is gonna be just after the full moon, right around the 20th, that Venus is gonna move in here as well. And so what this tells me is that what is transpiring, the new and the next and the greater opportunity, it isn't isolated to like one or two small moments, but you're able to carry it forward throughout the month. And it is gonna be mid month and beyond that the blessings really start to grow and start to support you that much more. That energy of Venus is a blessing energy. And so what felt challenging in the early part of the month, that energy will change in dramatic ways in the middle of the month, but then that sense of blessings and positivity is only gonna grow as we move towards the later part of the month and even into next month as well. Speaking of the full moon, right around the 19th, we are gonna have a full moon. Now, some people call this a blue moon because it is the second full moon in the same sign to take place back to back. If you remember last month, right around the 21st, we had a full moon. Now, this full moon happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. And while full moons tend to bring with them culmination and completion, um, this particular completion that took place before, it had a measure of a beginning to it as well. However, the full moon this month is one that is happening at the very end of its respective sign, which makes it that much more intense, that much more dramatic, and that much more emotional as well, and represents a true ending. However, this full moon, while it is speaking in harmony with Jupiter, which means that there are blessings there, there's greater opportunity there, that's great. It is also standing across the sky from Uranus. And so it's that standing across the sky from Uranus that's gonna add a certain shock value, a surprise value uh, to where it is that change is taking place. And this full moon is happening in the sign just before yours, a part of the sky that has to do with 
healthy closures and karmic closures at that. But it also has to do with karmic blessings. So I feel as I look at this that there is that sense of clearing space for the new and the next. There might be at least one, if not two, notable dramatic endings that do take place. Part of what is so dramatic is just seeing things as they are, seeing things sort of in their stark reality, okay? By the time we get to this full moon, uh, Mercury will have ended shadow, the whole Mercury retrograde season and all the confusing energy will be good and behind us. And instead, you'll be able to see things a lot more clearly and that awareness is gonna come on very quickly. But also, with this sense of clarity, will come a certain liberation, will come a certain excitement, and Jupiter promises that there'll also be more opportunities. So yes, healthy closures, karmic blessings that come by surprise, karmic closures that take you by surprise as well. But ultimately, this is about setting the stage for next month when we have the full moon in your sign, which is going to be very important for you and I'll be here to talk about it every single step of the way, of course, and as always. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is the first three weeks of the month that Venus will continue to move through fellow water sign Pisces. Now, this move through Pisces can be very, um, it works really well for you. It's a romantic energy as Venus has been moving through here uh, since late last month. And this can be quite the lift. It can make you feel that much more romantic and flirty and open to flirtatious exchanges and moments, which can be quite warm as well. But also just enjoying your life comes that much more easily. But it is beyond the full moon and under the light of the full moon as Venus changes signs and moves into the part of the sky that has to do with your day-to-day -day life that there comes a more sincere desire to experience life on a more regular basis and to have a sense of being in love with your life as well in your smallest moments. And so that's one way that Venus can be realized. Um, but of course, this is Venus, goddess of love. So there's also a desire for the love to not just be about loving your life, but having romantic love in the smallest moments of your life as well. For those of you open to meeting someone new, use the Venusian energy in the first part of the month well. It is flirty, it is fun, it is relaxed. And so that's the energy that you do wanna tap into for the first part of the month. But as we move later into the month, once Venus changes signs, uh, this energy does tend to denote that some office romance or someone that you meet through your daily life and your daily rituals uh, seems to be of particular interest to you. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, it really is that early part of the month that is wonderful for dating. It's wonderful for just enjoying each other's company and learning more about each other. And for those of you in an established bond, it is the first part of the month that is especially romantic but it becomes that much easier to express your love day in and day out as we move further into the month. I feel like there is going to be a sense of renewal, a sense of connection that helps to warm your hearts to each other that much more. But later in the month, that is when it may be a topic of discussion and consideration to actually start to do more things together that affirm whether it's healthy habits, uh, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, but to have some desire to do something consistent together may show up at that time. I would also add that while Venus is moving through the sign of Pisces for the first three weeks of this month, the connections that she is making to other power players are for the most part uh, supportive and easy. But as we get to Venus moving into the sign of Aries right around the 20th of the month um, and beyond just this month because that energy is gonna take us into next month as well. Well, some of the connections not as easy with other power players. And so it is this time in the first part of the month to nurture the love you have and to very mindfully do things that the two of you enjoy together. Because on the one hand, as much as there may be a desire to actually incorporate your partner more and more into your life in the second part of the month, 
you may just end up getting way too busy and there may be increased responsibilities there that make it that the reason you're wanting to spend more time with your partner is because maybe you may not have as much time with your partner but don't worry that energy will only last for a few weeks and of course i'll be here to talk about it every step of the way what i love about this month for you well look i love how your days are going to start to feel like they're growing in power and purpose and magic an opportunity just in a practical sense greater opportunity is going to find you now i would also add given where that beautifully harmonious and lucky energy is set to take place of the sun speaking with jupiter if you have pets you may hear very good news around matters having to do with your pets right around the middle of the month and if it is that you're just wanting to tap into this energy so that your life as you live it in your smallest moments feels more open to possibility and feels just touched with more blessings well this is a month where you are going to find your blessings grow more and more and the magic is found in those details in those habits in the things that you do consistently that ultimately will demonstrate more and more a measure of growth and self-love and yes in practical ways an improved lived experience as well well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy